How did you tie the mean value theorem to B? Like finding the slope at zero, of zero? Uh, because, because it is the explanation of the mean value theorem. Remember, the mean value theorem says that uh, if it's continuous, uh, that there's somewhere along that line that r prime of t equals zero. That's basically the mean value theorem. So on that particular one, where do we start at? What's the flow at where we start? You're starting with 9.6. And then where do we end? 9.6. So right there, what we're saying is that the starting is the same as the ending. So that means there's got to be a what in there somewhere. A change in the flow. There's got to be a change in the flow, which is either going to be a maximum or a minimum, right? Right. So therefore, by the mean value theorem, that guarantees that there is a spot where the derivative is going to equal zero. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Do you have to give that specific time? Like, do you have to find it? Uh, no. It's just a statement. That's okay. all. Yeah. It just because it asks, is there some time? Yeah. It, it there is some time. We don't know what it is, but we, there is some time. Okay. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? We pretty close? Yeah. Mark on C right now. Okay. Don't forget that once you see that average rate and it throws something at you, you know right there you're looking at an average value theorem. Anybody need to get started on any of the other ones? Any push in the right direction? Please. Which one? Um, on C? Yeah. So, what do we do? Um... Because it says 24 to 0, would it just be 1 over 24 minus 0? Yeah. That makes it nice and straightforward.
And then would we just plug in 24 in for our T? Right, after you integrate it, yeah, for your T. Yeah, because the zero part's just going to cancel everything out. Okay. Okay, let's go over this uh, as you guys are finishing up. If you guys are okay with that, or you want me to wait a little bit. Just like one more. I'm finishing up C right now. Okay, no problem. Anybody else need a little bit extra time? All right. Let's, uh, number one, I'll just give you the answer and then I'll talk about the explanation. Number one is going to be 258.6 gallons. Okay. And the explanation is this is the approximation, uh, the total flow in gallons of water from the pipe for 24 hours. So it's the flow, make sure you have that explanation. So it's the flow from the pipe in gallons for a 24 hour period. That, that'll be a point, especially since they asked for an explanation. So we're explaining it in context. Okay. Now, B, the answer is yes. And it's because since R of 0 is equal to R of 24, which is equal to 9.6, you can say, therefore, the MVT, uh, and I, or something like that, the mean value theorem, you'd want to you write that out, guarantees, it's a little tight guarantees that be, uh, that my brain just went dead, that uh, R of T equals zero between zero uh, and T and 24 for some point. Okay. And then that last piece the average value, the answer is 10.78, oops, five gallons per hour. And you're gonna get it by the average value, which is gonna be, oops, one over 24 times the integral from zero to 24 of 179th, 768 plus 23t plus, oops, minus, minus t squared dt. So you'll get a point for the limits, you'll get a point for the setup of the average value theorem, and you get a point for the 10.785 with the gallons per hour. Any questions on those? Remember on the on the test you're going to be able to plug everything into a calculator. So get get quick at plugging in uh, integrals into the calculator. It'll be very, super helpful for you guys. Um, I need help on part C. I don't understand how you get 10.785 gallons. Are you are you using the calculator to just plug this in? I 
I have to plug like exactly that? Well, when you use the calculator, you're going to have to plug in. If you're using the calculator, you're going to have to to utilize this piece and then take the integral of that to 24 and times it by 1 24th. So it all depends on how you plug it into the calculator. And I don't have mine with me. So does anybody using, you have the TI, the black one, don't you? The TI-83, Melina? Yeah. Anybody, yeah. how, how did you guys plug that in? Isn't it something that looks like this, if my memory serves me right? And then you would just put this in, oops. And then you would have to say from, I think it's like X to zero to 24. Is it something like that? Mine, mine lets me just put my, the, the pieces in. Yeah, that's what, that's how I set it is up. Is that how you set it up right there? Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is under what? I can't, I can't remember exactly. That was math nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so math nine. So did you put this in, Alina? I'm doing that right now. Okay, and then you're going to multiply that by 124th, and it should come out for you. All right, guys. Uh, any questions on this week's stuff? Why Alina's seeing if we can get that calculator piece going? You go with the setup for A. For, for A? Right here. Yeah. It's right here, Kate. So we're looking for the midpoint, right? Because it's asking for a midpoint Riemann sum. So we're looking for the midpoint. And since uh, everything is, everything, they want four equal subdivisions, everything's six. Well, lo and behold, they gave us the midpoint automatically. You with me so far? Okay, then from there, it's just going to be 6 times 10.4 plus 11.2 dot, 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 all the way down to here. Oh, okay. You okay with that now? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? All right, guys. Send send me a message uh, if you have if you get stuck on the other ones. Uh, I've, I've got to dig way back because we're gonna blow through all the ones since they eliminated certain things. I you run out of practice problems, so I'm going back farther. This was off of 1999, I think. Yeah, 1999 calculus. Uh, so I'm going back and I'm gonna find some more, and we'll do another couple. Uh, I think next week. I may add just like one extra one a day for those of you guys that are practicing for the uh, AP test. We may just get on and do like a 15 or 20 minute one a uh, couple of more times this next week just to keep practicing more and more and more. Uh, hang in there. The key is, is you've got to be able to, to, to hammer through these right or wrong. This week, I'm going to post the solutions to this week's stuff. I want you to grade them yourself and be honest and then turn those in. Uh, but, and if you have questions on how they got the answers, let me know. But other than that, good job today. Hopefully this helped a little bit more. Uh, and we'll see you soon. Alina, did you fix that out? No, it keeps saying that it has like an error. Okay. Uh, take, take a picture of how you're putting it into the calculator and send it to me on Remind and I'll see if I can fix it for you. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Any other questions, guys, for the good of the order? You post this on Google Classroom? Uh, this one I can, yeah. I'm going to try. I, it's been, I lost, I lost another vid, couple of videos yesterday in my uh, Math 3 class. I had to redo two of them. Uh, and so I'm going to try to, and we'll, hopefully it works. I, I'm recording it a different way on my, uh, on my iPad right now. So, all right. But I will try to post that. I got it. Okay, cool. All right, guys.